is up guys, welcome back to Dan Reviews, and today we're going to be doing our next trade paperback review for the Walking Dead comic book series. For this one is going to be trade volume 23, which is called Whispers into Screams. So, yesterday we did volume 22, today we're going to be doing volume 23. Uh, this is not the only video I'm going to be doing today. Also going to be doing another video very soon, talking about the top 10 favorite, or my, my personal top 10 favorite um, episodes of the Walking Dead television series up to the um, first half ending of season 7. So, um, there's the cover right here. Spoiler warning if you're not caught up to at least this part of the Walking Dead comic book series. Uh, we only got a couple trades left to, uh, to go before we are caught up with all the reviews. Uh, so, and, and in the future, when I am caught up to reviewing all these uh, trade paperback reviews in the next couple, we will always do uh, reviews for uh, the other trade paperbacks um, when they're released. Uh, so, uh, which, like for example, Volume 27 is coming out, I think in, in, is it March, I believe? It's coming out in March or April, I believe. So, we'll review that when that comes out as soon as I can pick it up. So, um, here's the cover. Here you have Carl right here. Uh, this is our time skip version of Carl. He looks very different from the TV show, uh, but that's what it'll look like in the, uh, you know, the TV show version in, like, season 9, 10 type deal. And then you have a whisper here, um, and that is actually Lydia, uh, uh, which uh, we will explain in this one, uh, that is tied up uh, in the chair. So, basically in this one, um, after the events of issue uh, 1, uh, 12... 132, sorry, um, we start off, and this, um, includes issues 133 to issue 138, so that's cool, um, and then, uh, we also, um, so in this one, basically, we just kind of see a, uh, a morning scene real quick, Carl kind of wakes up, and he sees, uh, the, um, he gets a love letter, from someone. He doesn't know who it is, but he has a love letter from someone. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so there it is. Um, and, uh, he reads it, and, uh, it's basically, um, it's cool because it's actually a, a character called, uh, Anna from the hilltop that they're staying at. So, that's interesting right there, but, um, still very, very, uh, cool to, uh, to see that a lot of people are starting to like Carl quite a bit. So, then we have kind of uh, what happens afterwards with the guy who got the double barrel shotgun pointed at him. And basically, the, he, they kind of talk to him for a minute how uh, we, we are the most dangerous people you'll ever encounter. And he basically kind of, they let him go, but he says, you will fear us. Uh, so that means he, he's kind of telling them that this is not the last they're going to see of them. There are going to be uh, other times where they do run into each other. So, that's cool. Um, kind of creepy, too, at the same time, though. And we have all the, uh, we have some characters from the kingdom, and they're kind of riding on horses, and there's the whispers in the mix of the herd, which is really scary, because you don't know which one's a human, which one's a zombie, you know, that type of deal. So, it's kind of hard to kill zombies when one can come out and come up and just kind of stab you in the back type deal. So, that's kind of scary, but... Um, basically, uh, they're kind of talking to each other, and, they, and they're saying, we're losing them, we're, we're not going quick enough, so, um, yeah, this is a crazy one, and this is a big Carl trade, because, um, we see some other stuff right here with, uh, Jesus, he's hacking some zombies, uh, and he's also saving characters, so, Jesus is, like, becoming really awesome right now in the comic books, uh, and we have, uh, Jesus, who actually runs in, to uh, a whisper, and and the uh, he's about to stab the whisper because he thinks it's a zombie, and the whisper says, "Please don't kill me." So, um, he Jesus is kind of afraid. He's kind of wondering what's going on. So, um, everybody's kind of finding out that there is this new group, and they are something to fear, right? Uh, so, we also have uh, these couple teenager uh, characters who attack uh, Sophia. Uh, and, uh, you know, she actually, at first they kind of, they start, uh, pu like, punching her and all that, but then she kind of starts getting a hand of them and all that, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's pretty insane because, um, 
he basically, Carl, um, comes in out of nowhere and actually hits them in the head with a shovel. <laughs> so, oh, look at that, man. Uh, and uh, then later on, uh, he kind of tells Maggie that uh, two guys... Uh, attacked us, and, you know, I, I think I killed them, right? He looks at Maggie, right? Because Maggie's wondering what's going on, and he says, I think I killed them. So, uh, yeah, Carl is a big uh, focus in this trade. Um, and, uh, you know, you have other ones, uh, other, other things going on here. And this is an interesting one. This character named Lydia, which is actually a member from this new Whisper group that they actually captured, um, because that was the character that uh, Jesus uh, ran into that was about to kill, and she said, please don't kill me. So he brought her back, um, and then they're just kind of leaving her in the cell, and Carl starts to get to know her, and they actually start to uh, have a very close bond, and um, basically um, they actually start liking each other, and uh, they, uh, they get together. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, interesting. Um, and... Uh, along with all that, we also have uh, Jesus, which is planning to poison Maggie so he can kill her. Uh, yeah, so so Gregory has uh, big plans, right? Uh, but Maggie is too smart to fall for it. And we see the events of that in the next trade, so I won't spoil too much. And we also find out in this trade uh, that uh, Paul Monroe uh, slash Jesus is actually gay. So <laughs> that's another thing. No offense to, to gay people. I'm not... No, I'm not judging anything. I'm just saying that's we didn't really know that until now. So yeah, uh, we find that out as well. So yeah, we we find out that uh, Carl actually starts to care a lot for Lydia, um, and uh, it just it really becomes into like some kind of small relationship. I want to say like a love interest type relationship, and we also see that the whispers are actually uh, going around and trying to find communities. Um, and they're trying to find Alpha because uh, at this point, the leader of the community is mad because that's her daughter. So the leader is actually, her name is called Alpha, and we're going to see here in a minute. Um, and she is the leader of this whisper group who wear zombie skins that I explained a little bit more in my uh, whispers uh, uh, video. I'll put the link in the description for the Whispers uh, kind of spotlight video that I did. But um, basically, she, she, her daughter got captured, and that's the girl who got captured by Jesus who starts liking Carl. So that's how that's going right now. Um, and the Whispers are kind of looking for her, and they're they're close because they're at the hilltop. So uh, they they can't really tell where she is, but they had for they they. They say they have a gut feeling that she's there. So, um, we also in this one see uh, Carl uh, give the iconic Rick Grimes hat. And so, this is how much Carl actually cares for uh, Carl because, um, let me see if I can, yeah, um, I'm trying to see if I can get an example. Um, this hat right here, right? So, she, she gives, or he gives her that one, the sheriff's uh, deputy hat. Um, so, yeah, he gives her that one. And basically what happens is, uh, you know, she kind of, she, he says that it, um, he doesn't believe in magic, but every time, uh, you know, he, he wore it, he, uh, he felt safe and everything. And so he's giving that to her to make sure she survives or something. So that's cool. And she kind of says thank you afterwards as she puts on the hat. So that's cool. Um, so you, you, you can get the sense that Carl really likes her. But also he's had a couple, a little bit of girl problems because he also got a love letter from that other character, uh, Anna. And then he's also kind of uh, building a relationship with Sophia. So, oh, I don't know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, that's... It's kind of strange. And then, um, uh, basically we see, uh, Alpha and she's kind of ready to go home. Um, and when she does, uh, Carl doesn't really like that. Um, but, uh, she, uh, you know, um, he also says, I'm sorry about the eye. And she licks his eye socket. Oh, God, that's just terrible. Oh, my God, that's, that's, she likes him. <laughs> Anyway, 
on, oh man, um, and, uh, yeah, that's just insane. So then we also see, uh, Gregory trying to poison Maggie, and, uh, Jesus doesn't really like that too much, so he kicks him. Karate kick, right? So, <laughs> uh, this is an awesome trait. There's a lot of good stuff in this one. Um, and, uh, yeah, we do, unfortunately, though, we do see, uh, the whispers, um, yeah, we do see the whispers pick up, uh, you know, uh, Lydia from uh, Carl, and there's the leader, Alpha. The, so she's coming to save her daughter, right? There she is, right there, taking off the zombie skin, and there she is, right there. So uh, she's the leader of these whispers. Um, I'm Al um, I'm Alpha. I'm Alpha, uh, and Maggie kind of hates her. So um, yeah, then she, um, Lydia, um, you know, the uh, the girl that Carl was with. She uh, kind of leaves, right, and Carl doesn't really like that, and he kind of plans to go after her because he wants her back, and um, he goes after Lydia, so, because he, he loves her at this point, I would say, so, because he's, you know, he really likes her, and uh, he, you know, that type of deal, so he's going after her, so that's the end of this, I also like this one right here, this is the cover for one of the issues from the storyline. Uh, I remember that one. I don't have, I don't own it, but man, if I could, oh man, that's awesome. So, um, let me know what you guys think about this trade. I've, I'm, I'm actually gonna say I'm gonna give this one a nine point eight. It was another solid trade. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff, a lot of good action sequences in this one that um, I can't wait to see in the TV series. I can't wait to see the whole Gregory trying to poison Maggie thing. I can't wait to see the stuff with Carl in this one. And the shovel scene, and you know that stuff, and the licking eye socket. I I could do with it, but anyway, <laughs> uh, really really cool trade. I have to say, I think this is one of the uh, best trades of the new beginning so far. This is a really really good one. And the next trade is, we'll talk about it when we get there. But there's some crazy stuff. I'll say there are deaths that uh, are pretty huge. So um, stay tuned for that. I'll get that review up very soon, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.